Hi everyone and welcome to Learn Excel with Ramon. In this lesson I'm going to show you some very basic conditional formatting functions. Pretty cool, uh, you can very easily highlight some criteria that you establish with data, with names and even dates. So let's uh, give you an example of each one of them. So the first example here in column A I have math scores. So this is a numerical data set, of course, and I want to click on the first cell and it starts setting up my conditions. You want to go to the menu conditional formatting. And again, my Excel is uh, version uh, 2013, year 2013 for Windows 10. So you may see something slightly different in your version, but conditional formatting has been in Excel for a long time. So you shouldn't have any trouble finding that. Click on conditional formatting, highlight cells rules, and I'm going to start with a greater than. So I'm going to click on greater than, and I'm going to say, well, if the number is greater than 90, I want to see a green fill, dark green text. It's a good score. I want to see that in green. Hit OK. Obviously, this number is not greater than 90. Nothing happened. So let's go back and create a second condition, highlight cells rules, for less than. So in this case, I'm going to say, well, if the number is less than 60, it's not a good score. Uh, let's have this light red fill with dark red text. And then hit OK. OK, the third condition that I wanted to select here, this number is not less than 60. Obviously, you don't see the red cell. I'm going to go back to conditional formatting and also add a between condition. Now I'm going to say between 61 and say 89, so I cover the whole range. I wanted to see this in yellow. Not a great score, but not a really bad one. You can see that the cell there already changed to yellow. Hit OK. So this condition is saying Anything less than 60 painted red, anything between 61 and 89 painted yellow, anything over 90 painted green. Well, let's see if this works. You can simply click here on the Format Painter and copy that condition to all of these numbers. And there we go. What you see here is 55 under 60, it's red, under 60 red, over 90, 98, it's green, 94 green, so on and so forth. It works. Very quick way of highlighting what you establish as a criteria. Well, you can do the same thing for letters, for names, for text. So in this column, I have a list of famous musicians. You may recognize some of them. So if I again click on the first one as a reference, John, and I can go to conditional formatting. And let's say that the first thing that I want to do is text that contains, say, John. Let's paint it green. Hit OK. And then I'm going to copy that condition. And I'm going to apply to the rest of the names. And in this case, only the names that the text says John, I painted green, the system painted green, because that's the condition that I set. But let's do something else here. If you want to remove the conditional formatting, you can open the conditional formatting and you can go to clear rules. And in this case, I don't want to clear rules for the entire sheet because that's going to clear my numbers rules. I just wanted to clear rules from the selected cells. Click there, and now I don't have a conditional formatting anymore. But I can go back and say, well, I wanted to pick up all the names that contain, say, the letter A. And if you find it, uh, let's paint it yellow with dark yellow text. John has no A in it, but if I copy that formatting, let's see what happens. So now the names that has that have the letter A, Paul, Michael in this case, are highlighted in yellow. So again, a different way of formatting. You can work with numbers, you can work with text. And lastly, I just want to show for dates. Now, before I go into the conditional formatting, this is another cool function in Excel. 
If I want to know the date today, if your system is updated, of course, you will use the equal sign today open and close brackets. It will give you today's date, which is April 13th. The other cool thing with dates is you can actually add a number to it. Excel will do the calculation for you. So let's say that I want the cell to be equal the today cell, which is April 13th, say plus 2. So obviously that's going to bring April 15th. And if I just simply uh, drag this down, it's going to add those two days to my calendar, respecting, of course, the calendar of 2020. So pretty cool way to use dates and kind of drag the dates across uh, an Excel spreadsheet if you're doing your financial planning, for example, or something like that. Anyways, let's go back to the conditional formatting. Working with dates, it comes with some pre-established criteria. Open conditional formatting, highlight sales rules, let's go to a date occurring. And in here on this drop-down list, you can actually select what you want. So let's say that from today on, you want every date that happens in, say, next month to be green, has a green feel with dark green text. Hit OK. Now, today is today. Today is not next month, so nothing happened. But if I apply that condition to the whole data set, I will start seeing that from today, starting May 1st, I colored in green all of the dates that actually are in the next month, because that's what I asked for. So there you have it, three different ways of using conditional format in Excel. One is a numerical one, the other one is for text or names, the other one is for dates. There are other things that you can do with conditional formatting. Once again, this is the very basic that I'm showing you here. I hope you had fun, and I hope to see you back here.